In this video, I want to explain to you what it means if you get an error message and your bot stops. So here's a bot that I've got an example for you, and I'm going to show you some more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this icon that's got the magnifying glass with the little chart. So click on that. That will open up this pop-up. And as you can see, there's two tabs here. There's all the trade history, which is this slot here. And also you'll see the errors. So if you go to the errors, it will tell you what's wrong with your bot and why did it stop. This information is to help you understand what's going on between your robot and your Binance API keys. As you can see here, one of the errors, it says, there's not enough funds for it to do the buy. For this particular bot, I haven't got enough BUSD. So that means I would need to deposit some more BUSD into my Binance account. So once I've done that, all I need to do is to start the bot again. There's no need to contact support. Do what the instructions tells you in the error and then restart your bot. Let's have a look at another bot. So here we have another robot that's run into trouble. But before we look at the robot, we can see that this particular account doesn't have any BNB. Your robot cannot trade if you don't have BNB inside your Binance account to cover the trading fees. If your robot bought when you had some BNB inside your Binance account, and then when it came to sell, you didn't have enough BNB to cover the trading fees, then that means the robot would automatically stop because it can't sell the trade because it needs the BNB to cover the trading fees. So let's go and look at this robot. So again, we click on the icon here. We get this pop up, we see the trade logs, and now we go to the error messages. So as you can see here, the robot ran into trouble because it says it can't place the order. And if you look down here, it says invalid API key or permission for action. So that means that there's something wrong with the user's API keys and they would need to reinstall their API keys or generate new API keys. Once they've done that, they would also need to put some BNB. &B. Now these API keys may have worked in the past, which we can clearly see because they're working here. But for some reason, they've stopped working. It could be that their API keys haven't got the trusted IP address, which is the one that you can see on the screen now. I've got another video that shows you how to put this trusted IP address into your API keys. So just to recap, if your bot stops, you don't need to put in a support ticket. All you need to do is to click on this icon, go to the error tab, see what the error is, see if it's something that you need to do some actions. You may see an, an error that says a negative trade. All that does is it stops the bot so that you can become aware that your bot carried out a negative trade and you didn't make profit. There is no need for you to submit a support ticket or make a Telegram post if your bot stopped. You can simply have a look at the information. If there is an action that you need to do, either put more BNB in the uh, account or add more funds, you do that and then just switch your bot back on. It's not a bug that your bot stops. The bot comes up against a problem and it likes to let you know what that problem is that it's found. And in most cases, all you need to do is to restart your bot. So hopefully that answers some of the questions that you may have when a robot stops trading.